I am imprisoned. Um, I, you know the pig data pack that I mentioned last episode? The one that basically means when you log off, a pig replaces you and people can do whatever they want to that pig and as soon as you log on you will be teleported to where that pig is. I think someone may have put my pig underneath Hubone's house. I've got a feeling that since it's T-Bone's house, it probably was him, and I'm I'm frightened because that might mean I now belong to him. <laughs> okay, hopefully not. But um, hello there, everybody. My name is Toby from the Altorvian channel, and welcome to episode 11 of the Afterlife SMP. And in today's episode, I am hoping to start work on my base. Well, actually, when I'm recording this, I've already I've already done some of that work, and unfortunately, the, the, re, the re, replay mod. I, I it, basically, long story short, who's that? White fire. Okay, I, I don't think I'll do anything today. But long story short, I lost a lot of the uh, a lot of the recordings from the replay mod. A lot of the time ups of me building that base. So I've managed to. to uh, to keep some of it I've, I've got a bit of a bit of time-lapse material so you should see the rough layout of me building the base but I must admit a lot of it is missing so for example you probably won't see me building much of the roofs on there but anyway yes let's you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna show you those time-lapses now let's get right into the base progress and also I flattened down the hill myself and Ash and GP, they just cleared away the trees. But I did pay them, don't worry. So yeah, let's get right into the time lapse. <laughs> So as you can see, I have been a very, very, very busy bee. I have done a lot of work on my base. I've built one normal house, one diagonal house, Winter Tooth 100 will be very happy with that. And I've also moved the beacon that I I was using down into the down to the bottom of the well. And as you can see, I've done most of the details. I've got chimneys, I've textured it, I've got leaves. There are one or two things that I still need to do. I need to put windows in uh, here and there. And I also need to fill in parts of the roof. For example, this one here doesn't have any of the red nether brick in the roof because red nether brick is pretty expensive. As you can see behind here, I've got a little bit of a nether wart farm. So I can, I'll slowly but surely fill in all of the nether brick, red nether brick on the roofs. I'll fill in the glass, I've got plenty of glass here. And I've got, I need to fill in the diagonals on this, uh, this house. But let me know what you think of these down below. I'm super happy with these. Uh, I normally don't build in this style. It's a little more simplistic, but it's also a bit bigger. And I, I'm really, I really like this style. It's probably one of my favourites. And yeah, so my plan is to 
fill this whole area with these houses, smooth out the terrain here and there, and just have loads of these houses scattered around, have fields and things. I need to flatten down all of this stuff here still. And I'm also hoping to have maybe a castle in here, but basically it's just going to be like an elven village with uh, dark oak willow trees and uh, giant mushrooms and things like that. It's going to look really great in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to fill in these roofs slowly and we'll see what we can get on with now. Okay, so the only thing that's kind of stopping me from finishing these two builds is just lack of resources, really. In fact, I need quite a bit of red nether brick. So, why not use the thing that no one's really used that I built a few episodes ago? Or oh, last episode, actually, I think. No, no, yeah, episode 9 I built it on. The trading hall, which is now in the sewers. So, I don't actually have a book and quill on me, so I'll get one. My request is 10 stacks of nether warts and 3 vouchers for Artubra. So that's basically 60 diamonds worth of tasks from Artuverin. So, I'm pretty sure it's worth it. Uh, and it ends on the 30th of June. I may change the, the, the reward if, if no one is willing to trade. But I feel like no one's really used the trading hall yet. And I think it should be a pretty big feature in the shopping district. Unfortunately, it's a bit too big to go above ground, so I guess that's probably the reason why it's not being used too much. But yeah, uh, I think in today's episode, I'm going to buy some wool from Hugh Bone, from his shop, and we're just going to plan out the layouts for the base. So plan out where each house is going to go, where the fields are going to go, where the paths are going to go. So I'm guessing I need three wool colours. One diamond for two stacks. I have three diamonds, so I can buy... That is not right. Okay, I can buy two stacks of orange wool. I could buy some pink wool. And I'll buy, I guess I can buy one pink and one orange as well. And that's for three diamonds. Okay, and yeah, I've got, I've got the wool. So, yeah, let, let, let's do some planning at the base then. I, I'm really excited at how the base is turning out though. I think it's looking really cool and... By the end of the series, or the season, I reckon we could have a pretty massive base. So right now I am building the layout for the buildings and the farms and the things like that. And I'm really happy with how it's turning out so far. So at the moment I am using a cyan wool for the layout of the houses themselves. So as you can see I've got a little T-shaped one here. And then the, uh, the pink wool is the paths. So right over here in the center, I have like a meeting point. So each path goes to the door of each house and then each one ends up meeting at the center where the well is. And there's a path going down here right to the bottom. And we've got a, a farm using the orange wool right next to it. And I'm really happy with how this is looking and yeah, I'm planning on having possibly the top of the hill, so everything on this layer here to be houses, and then everything around here, or most of the things around here, I may have a few houses here, um, are going to be the wheat fields and the things like that. But yeah, I'm super happy with how this looks. Let me know what you think of this design down below, and if there's anything else you think I should include. Currently, I am debating on whether to have a wall around the village. I'm probably not going to do it because I kind of want this to feel open and uh, just unique. But um, yeah, I'm super happy with how this is turning out. 
Now, this area here, this orange circle, there are going to be more of them in the area, but this is going to be completely filled with wheat. And the orange will be replaced with, uh, with stone, and it will be kind of like a cobbled wall around the build. So, tell you what, let's do a time lapse of me hoeing down the area and filling it with seeds. I may not have enough, but let, let's see how far we can get. Before I continue with this episode, may I just say, please, please, please check out every other Afterlife member linked in the description below. You can also join the Afterlife Discord because you can you can get notified for any content creators' uploads. You can you can chat with any of the members on there. It is a great Discord. I recommend you join it. Also, join my Discord because well you. you get to have input into any of my series that I do so please join that and also subscribe to the official Afterlife YouTube channel because there is a recap and a podcast that I highly recommend you check it out but anyway look at the base it, it is coming along fantastically if I do say, my, say, say so myself if we fly up here, as you can see, we've got one wheat field done. We've got some paths using granite and coarse dirt. I am debating adding one extra block, but I'm not quite sure just yet. The houses look great. I'm loving the gradients on them. Ignore the pink wool. I have run out of uh, of red nether wart. And the pink is the path. So as you can see, I've connected it directly to KB's base. And you never know, maybe later on, and that was my last rocket. Oh dear. Well, maybe later on we could somehow connect it to GPU's base. But um, yeah, I think we did a lot of progress in today's episode. And in the next episode, I'm hoping to do a similar amount of work on the base as well. I mean, at, at the moment, I've got that feeling that uh, right now, all I want to do is build this base. <laughs> I've definitely got lots of motivation to build it right now. But anyway, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please as usual leave any suggestions down below thank you for watching and i'll see you next time goodbye